Humansat are helping us with providing us a lot of information, especially the satellite information is very valuable for us because without any valuable information being on the west side of a continent, we are totally blind if there's no information over the ocean of the weather who is coming towards us. It's helping us with convective clouds, how does it develop, and also with fog situations, if the fog is dissolving or not. Weather models sometimes give us not information, give not sufficient information how this weather will develop. And the satellite gives an accurate in information within 15 minutes after observation, which is very uh, relevant because other observation types coming in later. And the satellite gives us an overview of the whole globe, more or less, within seconds. And recently we discovered it also can help us with for ice skating conditions as we had very cold weather and people are very anxious to skate and want to see if all the legs were frozen. And in addition to this, we also use the information from the satellite to uh, make special dedicated fog products for our now casting forecasters. And they provide us with information about uh, convective systems. And especially the convective systems, you have been on the airplane yourself. And there we see that uh, the human cell products help us to see if a cloud will be convective or not. And pilots don't like convective clouds because they can fall down. We have uh, made a redundant system that we will have a 99.9 .9 availability from HumanSat. So, and then it's uh, received at the roof and then it's directly uh, given to the forecasters which you can see behind me. They have a continuous loop of this image continuously in the background uh, on one screen in their uh, environment because it helps them to check if the models are still obeying the rules of nature or that they have a life of themselves. So that in that way it helps us a lot. Now we are very lucky with the human cell products because uh, two years ago, 2010, there was an eruption above Iceland with a volcano and those products human cell provided to us, the color composites, gives us an instant view of the, the spread of the, of the uh, volcanic ash. And it helps us to go to areas where it was safe to fly to guide our aircraft to where it is safe to fly and it gives our forecast an instant view of the spread of the plume and that really helped us to, uh, to clear areas for aircraft traffic or not. And then that product was available to within 24 hours after the uh, eruption and it was uh, available for all of Europe and that, within, that you couldn't do with any measurements from the ground. We're using a different uh, satellite color composite because our forecasters like it very much because it's very, very easy for them to distinguish between uh, clouds and snow and they like that very much because um, that helps them to make a better forecast because you can understand on the, over snow you have different conditions than under clouds. Mm -hmm. And we make a, like I say, a sort of, kind of a curtain that you see the night move in or move out depending on what time of day you're looking at it. So that gives us an extra information to make the forecast better. And we also like the air mass product very much because it gives us information where the uh, depression zones have been. It looks as if they leave a trail in the image where they have been. And also when the uh, uh, depression has passed a few days already ago, uh, you can still see it in the image. And from this you can gather information on how the builder in that area will develop because it's slightly different in color setting. And on this kind of color settings you can have uh, developments which you can predict if you, because you are aware of those uh, differences. You need, you need a satellite nowadays. Without the satellite you are actually blind for the weather coming towards you and it is uh, too expensive to, to have a, a country to have its own satellite. I mean, that's, uh, so it is uh, very beneficial to have this shared within Europe, shared the cost. And um, the problem with our uh, work methodology is always that we are here to avoid damage. And the avoidance, how much damage can you avoid if you have a good forecast? It's not possible because you can't have a second run of experiment in which you allow the, the damage to, to appear. And then uh, you don't have any estimate of the cost beneficial uh, impact of your good forecast.